Hi everyone, this week I've got something a little bit different for you. Uh, once in a while I like to take a little bit of an artistic holiday and I continue to, to draw but I change my style and or change the su subject that I'm drawing or painting. So what I'm doing today is an alligator drawing with in-mixed media uh, but it's going to be kind of more of a cartoon graphic design style than You've, you're perhaps used to seeing on the channel. Um, if you happen to have checked out my website, then you will see that I've got you know galleries with cartoons and graphic design styles and, and lots of different uh, subjects as well. Uh, so far on the channel, I've been concentrating mostly on animals and landscapes. But anyway, it's nice to kind of it's nice for me to kind of just relax a little bit and do something a bit different. And I thought it might be interesting for people to see me working in a different way. So what I'm doing here is, is just starting out on this head of an alligator and I'm using an acrylic paint marker from Liquitex and you can see I'm using the pretty chunky 15mm nibbed version but because I'm just using the short edge of that nib I can still get quite a fine controlled line and uh, while I was chatting away there I'd already put down in light blue some preliminary lines and now I'm going back over with a darker blue uh, to kind of finish the the main line drawing and in much of my work I don't mind if the preliminary marks show through I'm quite happy for those to be visible in the end product and you can kind of see it's useful for me to see even you know that the light blue was my first estimate and you can see that I made the snout of this animal a little bit too short and so I've I've lengthened that and just changed the proportions here and there so it's interesting for me watching back to see the mistakes I've made and still be able to see those in relation to the corrected version. But the head of this reptile is start, starting to take place now. Take place? Take shape, I should have said. Sorry. Starting to take shape. And just adding a few selective little details onto the surface of the alligator skin. They've got this incredibly sort of gnarled and knobbled surface to their bodies um, and so I'm just I'm not trying to depict every single one of those bumps and lumps but just picking out a few here and there so having blocked in you know most of the drawing just adding a few more lines here and there and now I've switched to the same blue but the narrower the narrow nibbed version of that same marker. So I think these are about a 4mm nib as opposed to 15 um, And these are obviously much better for the finer details. So I've just added a little bit of detail to the eye and currently popping in the line of teeth along the jawline. And the teeth of an alligator, when you look at it, they, you know, they vary in size and angle and shape quite a lot actually. And they have overhanging teeth coming from both the lower lip and the upper. So it's actually kind of good fun if you ever draw an alligator to just play around with the different positions and angles of the teeth. Uh, I can remember my art teacher back at school teaching us that when people paint human portraits, um, teeth are often overlooked because we tend to paint a portrait with the mouth closed. Um, so if you go back through books of you know the great artists and and all the people they've painted it's actually quite rare when you start looking to see anybody depicted you know smiling or or with teeth at all uh, usually just a closed-lipped uh, pose so going back to the alligator now it's kind of the perfect way to really make you focus on teeth because they've got all these wonderfully different shapes well it's not wonderful if it's coming at you but one <laughs> just to look at wonderfully different shaped teeth all at different angles as well and a little uh, detail just to indicate the presence of a, a nostril on the end of the snout there. And now I'm coming back in with that same light blue that I used before. And although the skin of the alligator in my reference is kind of a greeny brown, there are some areas where the light is catching it and those are reflecting blue. Perhaps off a, a wet sheen on the animal's body. So I've just chosen to pick out those areas. 
So my approach to a more graphic or cartoon depiction of something is, is very similar to if I'm working up a finished painting in a more realistic style. Um, I start with line typically and then I will just select the bits that I want to pick out and enhance in certain cases. But these markers are, are really great. They, if you, if you don't over prime the nib, then you can put down quite a thin layer of paint uh, and get some really nice expressive marks, even though you're using a pen rather than a brush. But I've switched now to a watercolour marker pen. This one's by Winsor & Newton. Uh, and obviously putting in a bit of yellow for the teeth here. And these pens have two nibs. They've got a brush nib and then the narrow fine line nib. And it's the, the latter that I've used there for those details. And now switch to a, a fluorescent orange marker to put a bit more detail in on the eye. Back in with the blue acrylic, a little more detail on that snout. And now this, that's it pretty much done for, this, for, the, for the alligator itself. I'm just using an ink tense block and having sprayed the surface of the watercolour paper I'm using with a little bit of water, you can see that using that block side on and then with a wet brush just to smooth certain areas, you can really cover a huge area very, very quickly. So that's my finished drawing. Now there's a better close up look at the finished drawing there. So got a bit of life to him. Nice bright colours in this cartoon depiction of an alligator. Hope you enjoyed this little video. As always, any questions at all, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. Please remember to hit the like button. And if you're new here, please remember to subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing you next Sunday for the next episode of The Sunday Art Show. Thanks very much for watching.